What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister One, your host, and welcome to the newest game to come out. This is called Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. This is from the creator of the Assassin's Creed series, Patrice, uh, and it's from a de developer studio named uh, Panache. Hopefully I said that right. Thanks to them for allowing me to show this off to you guys uh, a day earlier or so. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, this game has been on my radar for quite some time. I'm probably only going to show just a video, just show like the first 30 minutes or so, just to kind of get you into it so you guys can take a look. Uh, at everything that you can do in it. So that being said, we're going to start up a, loo, a new lineage. And we're gonna, we are going to call ourselves the Homo Stranians, which I think is hilarious. And uh, you can choose different game modes. First time, explore, expand, and evolve the way the same way that your ancestors had to face survivor you're alone in africa 10 million years ago in a custom game we'll go first time uh different uh, immersion settings we'll go total just so that we can see what the game is like and we'll do random so it looks like we're a male clan size is medium and let us begin hopefully you guys enjoy uh, let me know if this is going to be something you guys are going to pick up or not. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been looking forward to it for the past um, year or so, ever since it was announced. Inspired by true events. The world and characters you were encountered are meant to represent archetypes of a place and a moment, not the exact depiction of what happened. Latest scientific discoveries were used as guidelines. This adventure was made by Panache Digital Games, which is composed of them, 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 and them. With the help of them. Music by them. In the following hours, you will relive the challenges of the dawn of humanity. Embark into the never-ending odyssey of human progression on this planet. Use your body, senses, mind, and voice to guide your voyages. Gain strength in numbers and advance the species. Survive the elements, teach your family, build a home. Good luck, we won't help you much. Remember, evolution is not set in stone, it is your path to forge. Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. No relation to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Boy, 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 boy. Volume 1, Before Us.
All right, here we go. Regain safety in a hiding spot or in your clan's settlement. Okay, so intelligence. Tap. That must be the settlement. Um, hiding spots. Or other practical items. Okay, we got other things here. Let's see. So it looks like we can remember these things, which that way we know where they are. Remember, you've got to come, you've got to look at this from a different perspective. As if you're this creature and you're, you're, you're these apes and you're trying to figure out how to evolve. So it's a very, very unique process, I think. All right. So we know where we're headed. That is the settlement. But there's also a hiding spot here and you can see it if you hit the intelligence. So we need to, I think this just represents like the fear of just a little child, child ape that really doesn't know what's going on in the world and he's pretty much scared of everything. Um, I'm guessing that's what that represents. Okay, so it looks like that's a good hiding spot there. I think uh, we're too far away probably to make it to the settlement itself. All right, now we must find the lost child. Well, if this is the settlement, then I think this shouldn't be too difficult. Scoop, inspect. New food discovery. Fresh water. And that's how you learn. So I guess you gotta pick certain things up in order to learn about them. And then you... That's how you learn to eat. That's how you learn to, to do all your stuff here. Alright, let's get up to a good vantage high point here so we can actually... Now, if I'm not mistaken, he should be somewhere over there, right? Because if the settlement was here, then he should literally be... Very, very close to us. There's all these things that you can focus on and look at. Memorize. I guess that's how you learn. Should be somewhere down in there. Use your senses to help locate. Alright, so senses is what you need to help locate. So we hit X, and we see a sense right here. Focus. And there is a child. Memorize. Comfort away from the antipress to comfort the kid. Okay, so we've got the kid. And you can also, I guess, take this moment to really, really get to know, like, all the different stuff that's around here. See? And I guess you see those things uh, around it, um, kind of explaining that this is... You have no idea what this is, so you fear it. It's like your personification of fear. So it's telling you that you could be afraid of this for whatever reason. I'm guessing that that's why it says that. few different things around here.
And try to memorize everything too, because it really, I, I'm, I guess it helps. Alright, we're gonna climb this big tree. I think the game looks really good for what it's going for. Jump and then hold A to grab the foliage or the creepers when passing through it. What's this? So he's getting used to it, finding out what it is, and he's discovered that it's food. And then he eats it. Oh, that is just so good. Alright, looks like we made it back to the settlement. This is the perfect type of game for those out there that love discovery, that love figuring things out on their own. Historical, significant, uh, significant events, creation of man, whatever, whoever thinks of which way it is, it doesn't matter. Just the story of evolving. So this just signifies that her husband, I guess, just died earlier. We saw that. And that is what happened. So new objective. Can your can your lineage evolve faster than our ancestors did? And you can drop things, uh, pick them up to eat. Let's see what else we got. All different kinds of things to focus on. Stop moving the CD, memorize. All right, so that's just a... All right, I say for instance, let's go over here and let's pick this. You need to hold X to learn about it. It's a tool. So I don't know what the difference between certain tools are or what's the use of them. Having children nearby allows the accumulation of neuronal energy. More children around means increasing accumulation. Okay. Oh, you can switch babies. You can... Oh, I got both of them on me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's drop this item. Okay, so sometimes it's good. I mean, you don't really know when. I think this is how you, like, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it wants to... It doesn't want to bond with us. What about... Analyze. Elder. Okay. She's an elder, though. We don't want an elder. Adult female. Coupled with Wu. Alright, so you don't want to steal someone else. Adult male. Coupled with Tyru. And let me see. So we were trying to get with someone. Let's actually see if they were already uh, with someone else. Yeah, see, uh, partnering with Gur. Am I Gur? I think I am Gur, yeah. 
See, I don't really know exactly. The game really doesn't tell you how to do these things. So you kind of have to, like, figure them out on your own. I don't know. Um, we're, we're getting denied all the time, though. I love how we've got these two. They're on our front and back. I think it's so cool. Yeah, see, it doesn't look like uh wants to partner with us. All right, so we're going to move on. Like I said, the other thing that you can do is sleep or lie down. So let's say we lie down. And we've got evolution, drop child, sleep. Let's try evolution. Here's our progression, our natural progression. Um, interacting with the environment generates the potential to grow your motor skills. More training is required. Using the senses uh, as long as they are further used in different intelligence and analyze the environment and interacting with others generates potential to grow in your communication skills. All right. That's, that's the neuronal, however you say it. And this is the generational. Two reinforcements. Use point, uh... Passing a generation is irreversible. There is no coming back, and all unborn babies are lost. You still want to pass a generation now. We're going to try it just to... Um... Just to see what happens here. We want to give you guys as much different type of gameplay as we can. Fifteen years later. Alright, so we're in the same spot. Clan member dead, obviously, because it's fifteen years later, so my guess is that the elders. We are now an elder. Do you see how we have, like, gray skin? I mean, that thing's been there for fifteen years. You've been trying to partner with her for 15 years. And she still don't want us. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's let's uh, let's take a look around. You see, our stamina is pretty low. See, now it's gone back up a little bit. Uh, let's look at our senses, and let's see what we have around us. So there's something here. Let's focus on it. Okay, so you need to have something around you to be able to grab a hold of. That's the problem. I thought I had something around me, but um, it didn't grab a hold of it. So I think if we lie down, you can sleep off your injuries. As you can see, time is progressing. And our bone is healing. And so now we're back. It's nighttime now. Alright, let's take a look at our intelligence here. Let's find out what's around. Got a hiding spot up here. Always rememorize these things. Learn the intelligence. Alright, let's keep moving.
I am sure it's way better to actually probably travel from up here as you have a less chance of getting messed with by animals on the ground. But then you do have birds, as you saw in the cinema at the beginning, that they, I guess they could also still come at you. But let's get to the tallest point here. Remember, this takes stamina to climb and all that. And here we are. We're pretty much at the tallest... The tallest point. Focus... And we just have to go around and collect these things, like find out what they are. That's the whole purpose of this game, is just to evolve as a species. I mean, there's, there's not much else than that. to be kidding me. There's so many things around to grab, and he, he didn't grab any of it. Well, he spent... He lived... He lived a good... He lived a good long life. Lived a very good life. I was very proud of... I'm proud of the life that this guy lived. Alright, let's try to make it... <laughs> Okay, so what you can do is you can grab a hold of branches, you can grab a hold of stuff, so that way you can travel very, very quickly, like, from one location to another. I mean, see, everything is pretty much grabbable. You can climb. See how it all works. Swinging, jumping, moving. See what I mean? So it can be very, very intuitive. You just got to make sure that there is something for you to grab a hold of wherever you're going, obviously. Like here. Okay, so there's a tree there, so let's jump. And we missed it, though. And we missed everything. See? <laughs> We're just going to keep dying. All right, we need to rest. Let's, let's wait till uh, morning. I'm sure it takes quite a bit of time to get used to and figuring everything out. There we go. Alright, so we're back. So we need food, we need water. Let's get some good old water. What is this here? Fishing spot. Okay. I guess we don't know how to fish just yet, though. Let's keep moving down, though. We're going to keep moving downstream. I'm not so sure I want to get back up here, but... Because <laughs> it just seems like I keep dying. Whenever I climb. So I don't see anywhere that we can actually jump to that you would think you would be it would actually land unless it's like right here. Oh, make it. Okay. Should be one right here. You just gotta time it properly. It's gonna be your best thing. So we're headed we're gonna head to this one that's all the way over there. So I'm gonna use my intelligence. We're gonna focus in on this. It's all the way over there. 
Perfect. Okay, just to make sure that we have it. Give us a good jump. There we go. That's a big tree, though. Oh, he didn't jump far enough. Oh, thank God. Wow. I think the longer you hold down, obviously, the... Whoa. Okay, stay away. Stay away. Wow. Do you see that right there? I think I've caught it in sleeping right now. But I think we need to do senses, right? Smelling. Discover. African rock python. Wow, look at that thing. We just got injured by a giant warthog. I don't know where it went, though. Oh god, the snake's there now. Yeah, so I'm gonna stay away from that. Okay, good, we got some food. I'm sure this helps. Nutrients from Drupu kind of food. Okay, what is that down there? We're gonna lie down. get our bones healed again. I gotta say, it's very interesting. Obviously, this type of game is not gonna be for everyone. I must be like a crocodile or something. Oh no, that's another... Okay. We missed it. You gotta be kidding me, man. How many times am I gonna kill myself from jumping? You have, you have really gotta like, time your directions and your locations and stuff so you don't accidentally kill yourself a hundred times from but I guess this is the struggle that was real. I am sure there's many, many times that apes back in the day miscalculated jumps, things like that. I mean... I don't know what those mean, like when you see this. 
but we're gonna wait until morning. Perfect. All right, we're at dawn. Python is moving around now. We don't know what it is. This is why we fear it. Oh, it's cold up here. Or either that or rain or something. Or it looks like it's... Don't miss, don't miscalculate your jumps, please. There you go. Oh, so we're in fear of the unknown. We have no, we're in a, I guess a location where. It's a tool. I mean, this is... Oh, I can't even see where I'm going right now. And nothing else. <laughs> Let's get some water. <laughs> Jeez. It's just... Man, I bet you everyone's gonna have some some trouble in the beginning here. Alright, I'm trying to lie down. What do we got there? Wow. Did you see that? What is that white thing there? Cocos. Still following us, but we should be okay now, I'd say. Alright, so I'm following I'm I'm looking towards this bright light. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna follow it. And before I do anything, we need to check out our Check out our senses real quick. Make sure there's no. Could be. I, 
don't see any animals or creatures. Alright, there's the bright light. Okay, I don't know what we did. But we're no longer in fear. Now we are again. Surroundings rationalized. Reach. I hear like a pig of some sort. Yep, right there. Oh, thank God. Okay. sure. I don't know. Every time I head to this white object, this pig keeps following me and is making it really tough. But he actually climbed up there. Uh-oh. Oh, I know what this means. This means that we're... Our fear is too strong, I guess. Yeah, so our fear right now is just too, it's like overpowering. And I think what it means is he goes to the top of where he can go. To regain like some type of, so he's not afraid anymore. New tool. Apply. Okay, that gave us something. We're going to lie down. Got too many broken bones right now. All right, so now we're safe. broke my legs again. Okay. What is that over there? That must be the conquered zone. Oh, and we're already scared again. Yeah, because we're very, very low on, what is it called, dopamine or something? So he's going to go high. Again, this is like one of those games where it can just be very, very confusing. I mean, you've got to learn everything by yourself. It really doesn't help you out in those aspects. I don't know why he just... I didn't even do that. I don't know what just happened. I think he died, though. Oh, it took us... Oh, it took us all the way back here. Wow. Okay. Very confusing. I mean, unique. But this is clearly a game that is going to take a lot of patience, learning, understanding. Okay, let's get some rest again here. I don't know how many... You guys should count how many broken legs we've already done. We were starting to figure something out. I think we needed to head towards the other light. Once you get around one light, I guess you got to head towards the next. I don't know. These are things you just have to figure out. I like the fact that the game doesn't automatically just say, hey, this is what you got to do. I think it's telling us we need to drink water.
Okay, so... Now, we've learned a lot since then. So what happens when we lie down? And evolution. As you can see, we've gained some things. To initiate the senses can't be an issue because you don't have neuron energy carrying kids while performing various actions in everyday life is the only way to generate so we have to have kids with us in order to be able to do this but what's this here though baby genetic matured Mario and the members of the lineage will have the capacity to better metabolize nutrients from various food sources will become effective after the lineage's next evolution Okay, so this is zero reinforcements. Wow. And evolution points. Births two, deaths two, feats one percent. Wow, okay, man. This is... This is some deep stuff. Okay, but it's saying that we need a baby. Those are hard. No. That's kind of sad. I don't even see any. I think. Either they're out and about or they've all died. <laughs> I know I've died. So. I guess what it is is that once you. Um, once they're all dead, I mean, the game's pretty much over. You gotta keep your lineage going. You can't let them die off. Once you can tackle, like, moving freely... So those are all the same, okay. Not being able to see can be very, very... But you can figure it out. I mean, it's not like you can't do it anymore. Clearly there still is a way to move successfully throughout the environments. As you can see, I'm moving from one to the next. This might not be a good jump. There we go. Alright, so my stamina is getting low, and you can see that the screen is changing. So wait a little bit, let your stamina grow back. We'll head to that point right there, we'll see what that is. Could be... It looks like there's another another death or something down there. Ah, oh, see, they're all dead, man. Oh, my... Oh, oh no. And we died. <laughs> we just jumped through every tree you could think of. I should rename this video, How to Successfully Kill a Species. <laughs> I'm sure this is probably one of the guys I was controlling. Oh, that's Gur, yeah. Wasn't Gur like me? Yeah, I was, yeah, that was me. I really think that I am the only one left alive in my clan. Now, you have to mate and bond with other apes in order to create children, obviously, so you're never going to be able to continue your lineage unless you're successfully able to bond. But every single time I tried to bond, it just pushed me away. 
Um, I'm guessing you could probably go into the... We're going to wait till daytime. You could probably go into the menus and it's, they'll help you learn how to bond, how to mate. Does that mean I'm hungry? Yeah, I think that means I'm hungry, so I need food. Gathering spot. Liftable rock. Okay. Oh, I think it's the same thing I just dropped. There we go. Grab. I gotta find some type of food right now. There's that fishing spot. Little froggy. I gotta say, so I'm, I'm really impressed with what this game is setting out to do. It can take you, obviously, a while to get used to it. Maybe I'm just not as smart as other people in the evolutionary chain. But it is very unique. I mean, I've never played a game like this. You can see I got much more energy. Again, the game just really relies on you to move around, discover new things, identify. Looks like we're in a place where we're afraid again. Poisonous. There's a snake in there. Medical properties.
Oh, that actually worked. Oh, I missed it. Didn't die though. Crocodile, whoa! Okay. Woo. Now. <laughs> All right, so this is what happens because we're poisoned. My guess is time can help heal the poison. Just like everything else. Uh-oh. Wow. I don't think he's going to make it. Good news is we still have people. Okay, so a little... A little bit of clipping issues there. I don't know how that, I don't know how the grooming works. Like I said, there might be in the help Emotion clan vitality actions sense of smell injuring Yeah, I have no idea so it's something you have to figure out but man this is like so out there I think that's what it means, is that there's only three of us left. Oh man, I am thirsty, I am tired, I'm everything. But I think because we found a new settlement, it's building up to sleep right now. There we go. So now we're no longer... So what we would need right now is water. And that's how you build it back up. And now all that's left is food. Tells you we're right next to that one. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, what's that? Okay, that's what that is. Yeah, there's our settlement. So they were just down here. All right, well guys, I mean, 
Alright, there's one thing I want to take a look at real quick. Very, very unique type of game. But please let me know in the comments if you're going to be picking this up and you're going to be checking it out. I mean, once I think you get the hang of everything, of going around, exploring, looking at new things, finding out exactly what you need to do, the game does not hold your hand, and I think that's always a wonderful thing. Even if it can get frustrating, I would much, much rather prefer a game not holding your hand um, than just kind of making it too easy. And a game like this doesn't... You don't want it to be easy. You want it to be fun. Although I think I'm stuck now. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can climb that. But it looks like you do go through your own people. Yeah, I've got like no energy left, so... Okay, but we finally made it back here. That's good. I think that's our life meter. What is end expedition? We still haven't had enough to do what we need to do. So as you can see, it's a, it's a huge progress that you got to do, and we don't have zero reinforcements. But I just wanted to show it off to you guys. I mean, it is a very complex thing. Um, I got to say though, my mind is blown. I think they've done a wonderful job at bringing something unique and different to the landscape of video games that we have today. And I really, really do hope that this sells well. But what do you guys think of the game? Please let me know. Have you guys, um, and if this is a, you're watching this later, have you played it? Have you gotten further? What, what has been your experiences with the game so far? Love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.